For this application, we're going to use what's called a flex pouch. And that's basically a wide format pouch or a very large oversized pouch. And we're going to put it on a board as a sled and run it through the machine. So I'll have to remove my safety shield. I'm going to remove the print hold down bar. I'm going to raise the output table because we are running a board. Then I'm going to come over here. This is the print we're going to run through. So I start by opening this pouch. Then we're going to lay our print down inside of it. They're a little oversized for the print, so you can center them as closely as possible. They don't have to be exact because you are going to trim these out before you do anything else to them. But I'll try to get them centered. Okay. Close the pouch. Now, to help this, what I want to do is I want to get any air that's trapped in there. I want to get that air out. So I'm just going to squeegee down like this. This is our leading edge because this is where the pouch was joined together. So that's going in first. Take the board over to the machine. I'm going to set the gap for 1 16th of an inch. Center that to the rollers. I have my motor going already, so I'm just going to start that into the roller. And as it's going in, I'm going to use my foot pedal because sometimes this has a tendency to flip up at the end. And when it flips up, it would break the photo, photo beam, the safety photo beam, and that would shut the machine down. Once it clears through the machine, I can go ahead and release the foot pedal go around the back and grab our pouch and bring it up. Now you'll see that this did curl, so once this gets mounted to another board, that curl will disappear.